There she is. There she goes. <laughs> she will not stay around when I turn on the camera. Birdie, why are you doing this? There's Birdie. Birdie is a sweet girl, but she's camera shy. Every time I pick the camera up, <laughs> she will not come over here. I was just sitting here petting her, and I thought, oh, I got to get this on video. And as soon as I pick the camera up, she looks at it like it's a weapon or something. She does not like a camera. She's a hunting dog. She's on the hunt. Some type of bird dog. She belongs to the guy camping over behind me. They're having a group camp. It's a group of mountain bikers, like 20 of them. Birdie, come on, baby. Come on, get in the chair. There you go. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good one. Look how pretty. So what is this, Weimaraner? Come on, babe. Hey, come here. Now, don't act shy because I got the camera out. Look how shiny she is. Come on, baby. Birdie, baby. Come on, birdie. <laughs> She's like, what's that you're holding? It's a camera, birdie. Birdie. Don't do me like this. They just called her to come on back to camp. That's her camp right over there. There she goes. All right, we'll see you later, birdie. Run like the wind. Okay, it's the next morning and birdie's gone. Now I'm sad. Yeah, that whole group, they packed up and left. Took birdie with them. I'm gonna miss her. I've got new neighbors. I've got a new camper van down this way and a new big class C right here. And the Mercedes Sprinter people left, never even got to meet them. It's a big rotation around here. <laughs> Neighbors come and go every day. I was hoping I'd see further improvement on my back this morning, but actually yesterday morning, I felt better than I do this morning. So let's get into the meat of this video. Uh, this has got me thinking about getting a high top. You think I should go ahead and do it? I mean, being in a low top van with a hurt back, it's very difficult. The problem is Fiberine wants about $8,000. I could live six or seven months on $8,000, you know? <laughs> so that's how frugal I live. But I gotta think about the future. I thought about maybe a small travel trailer. I could get one of those as cheap as a high top, but then there's the whole towing issue that I'd rather avoid. I would rather not tow a trailer because that would limit me on the places I can go. But this is a wake up call. If I'm going to continue having back issues, I gotta, I gotta make a change. It's just no way around it. This is just so uncomfortable. So tell me what you think. I could get a used travel trailer for the same price as just a high top. Or I could get a cargo trailer and build it out myself. So I guess I'm gonna, what I'm asking is, what would you do? I've gone through a lot of scenarios in my mind. So here's, I'm just gonna just talk it out with you. So if I got a small travel trailer, I'd be set for six months out of the year because I could go down to like Yuma, Quartzsite, Parker. It's so easy to camp in a travel trailer down there. Plenty of places to park a travel trailer. And then as the weather got too hot, maybe I could just store the travel trailer down there and then go up into the mountains for cooler weather. The thing is up in the mountains, it's much harder to find a place that you can camp in a travel trailer for free. It's still pretty easy if you're just in a van to be able to go in those small little forest roads and find a place to camp. You don't have to worry about turning around while you're towing a travel trailer. Just the simplest little things. 
when you're towing a trailer, like just pulling into a gas station, you got to think, all right, how am I going to, how am I going to get out of this gas station while I'm towing this travel trailer? You know, there's so many things to consider when you're towing. So that takes me back to the high top, eight grand for a fiberglass hull on top of your van. That's all it is. They want 8,000 for that. That's just too much. Oh, hey, look, I think Birdie's back. Isn't that the same guy? Isn't that the same van and cargo trailer that Birdie was in? They just moved over here. They just pulled up. I think that's the same guy. But I don't see Birdie. Well, I, I got to go over and talk to him. No, it's a different guy. What it is, they're a base camp for the mountain bikers. Like the last ones, it's the same company. They got a little logo on the door. They set up a base camp, like last time they were right there. And for all the mountain bikers, when they come in off the trail, it's their base camp. They have water and supplies and everything for them. So that's what that is. And they're gonna have another group coming in this evening. And uh, if it's like the one the last two nights, they just sit around, have a campfire and talk. And I walked over there and talked with them briefly. So that'll be somebody to go over and talk with this evening. So that'll be cool. So they were setting their tents up over in the rocks. I'm like, dude, just set it over here in the in the soft grass. You know, I'm not a jerk. Come on. <laughs> the other guy that was over here is his boss. And I also found out that Birdie's real name is Finley. Finley's cool, but I like Birdie better. So we're going to stick with Birdie. The Matty Wagon sure would look good with a high top, but they sure are expensive. Um, in the long run, a travel trailer just might make more sense. But I want to hear your comments, your opinions. I want to be able to weigh all my options, think this thing out. But I'm thinking that soon it's going to be time for action. So is it cargo trailer and build it out, used travel trailer, or fiberine high top? What would you do and why would you do it? So I'm asking for your input <laughs> so have at it fire that keyboard up and let me know what you think all right my friends thanks for watching take care be well and smash the bell